Hi, good evening. In this video, we are going to learn about trigonometric. Trigonometric, okay? Trigonometric. Okay, sorry. Before going to this topic, let us discuss about triangles. Okay, what is meant by triangle? The figure which is having three sides is called triangle, right? That's not very well, right? Okay, just a minute. Yeah, see here there are types of triangle, six types of triangle we are having. By the sides, by sides, by angle, we can categorize into two parts. Okay. By sides, how many triangles we are having? Equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, scalene triangle. By the angle, acute, right angle, acute. Okay. So that's not a matter. Here, we don't uh, going to learn about triangles. We are going to learn about the trigonometry only. But what is meant by trigonometry? Studying about specifically, specifically, about right angle triangle is called trigonometry. Okay. What is maybe trigonometry? Studying about studying about right angle triangle. Sorry, yeah? right, oh, sorry. right angle. <clears throat> triangle is nothing but trigonometry. Okay. Hope you understand. Okay, next. Okay, if it is right angle triangle, what is the property to be a right angle triangle? What is the property? Do you have any idea? See, what is the property to be a right angle triangle? In the triangle, we are having three sides. Three sides, three angles, right? If the triangle is said to be a right angle triangle, if any one of the angle must be equal to 90 degree. What is the definition? Any one of the angle must be equal to 90 degree. Got it? So here, the triangle ABC. Okay. In this ABC, we are having angle A, angle B, angle C. Three angles we are having. In these three angles, angle B is equal to 90 degree. Am I right or wrong? So angle B is equal to 90 degree. So any one of the angle must be equal to 90 degrees called a right angle right oh okay that's not issue now so here we are have some basics definitions about right angle right angle triangle okay so whenever here we are having three sides right three sides we are having so the side which is opposite to the 90 degree what is the side which is opposite to 90 degree is called hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? The side which is opposite to 90 degree is called hypotenuse. Clear? So here, uh, you need to note one thing. Here, 90 degree as well as hypotenuse, those two things are fixed. It will never change. If you can identify the 90 degree, Opposite to the 90 degree will be the hypotenuse. Okay, clear. Next. Listen. So what about the remaining two angles? Here we are having angle A and angle B, angle C, right? So consider uh, angle A as a theta 1. Okay. Consider angle C as a theta 2. Okay. Okay. Then listen now. Listen carefully. So here... Um, Okay, angle one and angle two. Okay, so listen now. So here um, we are here hypotenuse is fixed, 90 degree is fixed. Now we are going to learn about theta one. Theta one, what is theta one? Theta one, what are the theta one values are having? See, listen, theta one is nothing but, what is the opposite side of theta one? What is the opposite side of theta one? 
BC, right? Am I right or wrong? Opposite side of theta one is what? BC. Opposite side of theta one is BC. What is the opposite side of theta two? Is AB. Right? What is the adjacent side? Adjacent side of theta one will be what? AB. And adjacent side of theta of two will be what? BC. So here we need to note one thing. Here opposite and adjacent side both are depending upon the value of theta. Am I right or wrong? Okay. Here opposite and adjacent not yet fixed. Whenever it's not fixed, based on the theta one on theta, theta theta one and theta two only, you need to take which is opposite side, which is adjacent side. Okay. Anyway, clear. Next. Okay. Now let us move on to the trigonometric ratios. Okay. What is? Trigonometric ratios. Okay. As I told you, so here consider this is the right angle triangle ABC. So this is the 90 degree. So opposite to the 90 degree is fixed, which is hypotenuse. Okay. Now I'm considering this angle theta. Okay. Same. Now you need to identify how many ratios can you define? This is question. Three sides we are having. You need to define ratios. How many ratios are possible? Let me see one by one. See, uh, uh, first thing, I'm taking uh, AB by AC. Can I take this? This is the one of the ratio. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, right. Next, uh, BC divided by AC. Can I take like, yeah, fine. Next, next is what? Uh, AB divided by BC. Can I take? Yeah, fine. So, and then reciprocal of these three. Okay. AC divided by AB. And then BC divided, sorry. AC divided by BC. Just I'm writing the possible ratios in this right angle triangle. That's all. Okay. Then BC divided by AB. Is there any possibilities? That's all. We have done all the ratios, right? Okay, fine. So we need to name. See, what's my name? My name is Satish Vikram. What's your name? It may anything. So like that, we need to identify or else we need to name ratio of this one, this one, and like four or six ratios, right? So for that, I'm going to take this ratio as sin theta. Sin theta. Okay. So listen. So this theta, theta, I'm I have taken sin theta as a a b by a c. Here, what is a b? See, a b is nothing but opposite side of this theta. Am I right or wrong? What is Opposite side of theta only now. Yeah, right. What is AC? AC is fixed, which is nothing but hypotenuse. So sine theta will be equal to what? This is the formula. Sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Right? Yeah, right. Now tell me, what is BC? BC is nothing but adjacent side of the given angle theta. Am I right or wrong? Am I right? So adjacent, right? Okay. What is AC? AC is nothing but hypotenuse. Okay, fine. So we need to name it anything, right? So let us call this as a cos theta. Uh, cos theta equal to, right? Yeah, fine. Then what is the, this ratio? AB is nothing but, yeah, AB is nothing but the opposite side. BC is nothing but adjacent side. Yeah, right. So what is the name of this one? We are going to name this as a tan theta. It's just a name. That's all. We are defining uh, some ratios, uh, so not a some ratios. What are the possible ratios? And we, after the defining, we are going to name uh, name it. So sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, like that. So reciprocal of each and every three ratios 
or this is nothing but cosecant theta. This is nothing but secant theta. This is nothing but cot theta. Just your name. Clear? Yeah. So like that. So now I'm going to conclude. These are sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, right. Then what about the reciprocal of this one? Reciprocal of this one is what? Hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Am I right or wrong? So this, what is the name of this one? This is nothing but cosecant theta, right? Next, cos theta. Cos theta equal to what? Adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Okay, right. So what is the reciprocal of this one? Hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. What will you name? What will you call this one? This is nothing but secant theta. Then tan. Tan theta is equal to what? Opposite side divided by adjacent side. Reciprocal of this one will be called as a cot theta. Cot theta will be equal to what? Adjacent side divided by opposite side. Am I right? Okay, fine. See, listen. Uh, from these two ratios, from these two ratios, we can conclude one more definition. What is, what is, see, um, what will happen when sine theta divided by cos theta? What is cos theta formula? Sorry, what is the sine theta formula? Sine theta formula is what? Sine theta formula? Opposite divided by hypotenuse. Am I right or wrong? Okay. Cos theta is what? Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Am I right or wrong? So here, hypotenuse, hypotenuse both get cancelled. So what is the result? Opposite divided by adjacent. Actually, opposite divided by adjacent already we have defined this is nothing but tan theta. So, tan theta also can be written as what? Sin theta divided by cos theta. Clear? Clear, student? Am I right? So, see, listen. Uh, the reciprocal of tan is nothing but cot. Am I right or wrong? Just now we have seen, right? So, reciprocal of tan theta, which means this is cot theta. So, reciprocal of this one will be what? Cos theta divided by sin theta. These are the major ratios. Sorry, not major ratios. Important trigonometric ratios. Clear? So, these are the very important results. Okay. Let us move to next one. Just a minute. Trigonometric ratios for some special angles, right? So this is the heading. Okay, listen. Now, just consider one uh, square, okay? Consider one square, okay? So, can you tell me what what is what are the what are all the properties of the square? All the sides will be equal. Yeah, right. So, if suppose I am taking this as a a in the sense, this also will be a. This also will be a. This also will be. A. What are next next property? Ah, uh, all the angles angles must be equal to ninety degree. Am I right or wrong? Okay, fine. So now what I'm going to do, now I'm going to divide into two parts, which means what? I'm going to cut this 
um, square um, by using diagonal. Okay. 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 So, so full angle is nothing but 90 degree, right? Now I'm going to cut into equal parts in the sense this becomes 45 degree. Am I right or wrong? Huh? Okay. Now it seems like, see, say for example, A, B, uh, C, D. Now consider only A, B, C. It looks like a right angle triangle. Am I right or wrong? Why? Because this is not 90 degree. If it is 90 degree, this becomes hypotenuse. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Fine. Super. So, see, listen. Here, our angle is 45 degree. Okay. 45 degree, no? Right. Now, we are going to apply, uh, going to find out sine 45. Sine 45. Can you define? Huh. See, uh, before going to uh, find out the sine 45, we are we need to find out the value of the hypotenuse. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Already we, we have studied in Pythagoras theorem. Uh, can you tell me what is Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse square must be equal to opposite side plus adjacent side. Opposite square plus adjacent to the whole square, right? Am I right or wrong? So now I'm considering hypotenuse as a x. So let it be x square. This will be what is the value of opposite side? Op we have taken opposite, uh, all the sides are equal to a. So this becomes a, a square plus this is nothing but a square. So a square plus a square is nothing but 2a square. Okay, right? So here we are in the need of x value, right? This is the x square. So x square, x value in the sense, this becomes what? Root 2 into. A. Okay, fine. So here we found the value of hypotenuse, which is what root 2 into A. Do you have any doubts? Yeah, right. Then, then uh, now we are going to find out the sine 45, right? So what is the formula to find out the sine theta? Sine theta is nothing but opposite side divided by divided by what? Hypotenuse. What is the opposite side here? Here the opposite. So value of the opposite side is nothing but a divided by hypotenuse value is what root 2 into a so a and a both get cancelled so remaining is what 1 divided by root 2 clear same procedure so let us find out the value of cos 45 so cos 45 will be equal to adjacent side what is adjacent side here a b right so this is the adjacent side so what, what is the value of the adjacent side? It's nothing but A. So A divided by, what is the hypotenuse value? Root 2 into A. Here, A and A both get cancelled. So your answer will be 1 divided by root 2. Clear? Yeah. Then, tan 45. What is the formula for tan theta? Opposite side divided by adjacent side, right? So what is the opposite side? A. Adjacent side is what? That's also A. So A and A get cancelled. So remaining value is 1. Clear? Okay. See, so from this um, progress, okay, can I define now just a minute. Uh, Okay, so now tell me what is the value of sine 45? Sine 45 is what? Just now we found it, which is 1 by root 2. What is the value of cos 45? Same answer, 1 by root 2. What is the value of tan 45? Which is nothing but 1. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, fine. Let us move to uh, next ratio, next special angle. For that, you need to consider one. 
right hand sorry equilateral triangle okay consider this is the equilateral triangle now what are the properties of equilateral triangle all the sides must be equal so am i right or wrong so must be equal in the sense i am considering this is a this is a this also must be a. why because i am considering this is the equilateral triangle okay fine what about the angle all the angles must be equal to what 60 degree right 60 degree 60 degree here also 60 degree am i right okay fine now i am going to divide into two equal parts what i am going to do i am going to divide into two equal parts am i right so okay i have divided it. after dividing into two equal parts this becomes what this becomes 30 degree right 30 degree then yeah right okay what about the side of this one if it is a the whole side is a a this is nothing but a by 2 am i right or wrong this is a by 2 and this also a by 2 am i right or wrong okay side this is nothing but 90 degree right why because this is the right angle triangle see i'm name it uh, a b c okay so a b c here angle b is nothing but 90 degree so definitely ac will be the hypotenuse why because ac is opposite to the 90 degree am i right or wrong so this is nothing but hypotenuse okay so now my question is do you know the value of ab do you know it we don't know, right we need to find out yeah right we need to find out. so how will you find out by pythagoras theorem what is pythagoras theorem what is pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to opposite side square plus adjacent side square am i right or wrong what is the hypotenuse here what is hypotenuse ma hypotenuse here is a am i right or wrong so a square which is equal to opposite side so uh, now i here i am having two angles am i right or wrong two angles i am having ma see listen this is one angle which is 30 degree this is another angle 60 degree okay fine so now i am considering the angle uh, 60 degree ma 60 degree i am considering 60 degree so 60 degree what is the opposite side opposite side will be what ab am i right or wrong ab so i am going to write so ab square plus this you want to can write it here here AC squared is equal to AB squared divided by BC squared. Okay, here what is AC squared? AC squared is nothing but A squared equal to AB squared is what? AB squared we don't know, so let it be X. So X squared plus BC is what? BC is nothing but A by two, so A divided by two the whole square. Okay, so A squared which is equal to X squared plus A squared divided by four, right? So this becomes A squared. Minus a square divided by four, which is equal to x square. So when I'm taking LCM for this one, this becomes four a square minus a square divided by four, which is equal to x square. So what about the numerator? Numerator becomes three a square divided by four, which is equal to x square. So here we are in the need of x value, right? So x must be equal to root three divided by uh, or else do one thing, uh, root of 3 divided by 4 into a square. Okay, right? So final answer becomes what? Root 3 divided by 2 into a. So x value we found it, right? Okay. Fine. So this value just now we found, which is nothing but root 3 divided by 2 into a. Right? Yeah. So uh, okay. Listen. now i am going to find out the trigonometric ratios for angle 30 degree first first i am going to find out the ang uh, trigonometric ratios of the angle 30 degree so which means what we need to find out sin 30 and then cos 30 and then tan 30 okay after that we will be moving to angle 60 
let me see one by one okay okay see so as i told you here our angle is 30 degree so 30 degree in a sense this is the 30 right so now what is the op uh, sin theta sin theta what is the formula for sin theta sin theta is nothing but opposite divided by hypotenuse right so this is the this is uh, this is our angle this is our angle this opposite side for this angle what is that a by 2 right so a divided by 2 whole divided by adjust uh, hypotenuse hypotenuse is what a so divided by a am i right or wrong so a and a get cancelled which is 1 divided by 2 clear okay fine now cos 30 cos 30 cos theta formula is what what Yeah, right. So, adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Here, what is adjacent side? Root 3 divided by 2 into A. Right? So, root 3 divided by 2 into A. Whole divided by, what is the value of hypotenuse? Hypotenuse value is what? A. Am I right? A. So, here A and A both get cancelled. Your answer will be root 3 divided by 2. What about the tan 30? Tan 30 is what? Opposite divided by adjacent, right? Opposite was A by 2. Adjacent is what? Root 3 by 2 A. So, opposite A divided by 2. Adjacent, root 3 divided by 2 into A. So, here A and A both get cancelled. As well as uh, 2 and 2 both get cancelled. So, remaining is what? 1 divided by root 3. Clear? Yeah. Let us move on to next angle, angle 60. See here, uh, for angle 60, opposite side is what? Adjacent side is what? See, for angle 60, opposite is what? Um, opposite is root 3 divided by 2 into A. Am I right or wrong? So, opposite is what? Root 3 divided by 2 into A. What about the adjacent side? Adjacent side is what? For angle 60, A divided by 2. Okay. In the previous case, angle is different. So, if it is angle is different, opposite side as well as adjacent side, both will differ. Now, here we are going uh, to see about angle 60. So, what is the value of angle? Uh, what is the value of sine 60? What is the formula, first of all? Here, hypotenuse is always fixed, which is equal to A, right? 60, sine 60. What is the formula of sine theta? Opposite divided by? Opposite. So, opposite divided by hypotenuse, right? So, A and A both get cancelled. Your answer is root 3 divided by 2. Right? Am I right? So, cos 60. So, cos 60 will be equal to, what is the formula for cos theta? Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Am I right or wrong? So, A and A both get cancelled. Your answer will be 1 divided by 2. Right? Now, what about the tan 60? So tan 60, first, what is the formula for tan theta? Opposite root 3 divided by 2 into A. Opposite divided by adjacent. Adjacent is what? A divided by 2. Am I right? So A and A both get cancelled. 2, 2 also get cancelled. So final answer is what? Root 3. Right. Now, we can substitute those values in respective columns. Okay. So cos sin 30 1 by 2 so sin 30 is what sin 30 is 1 divided by 2 sin 30 is 1 divided by 2 then sin 60 is what sin 60 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 am right so sin 60 is root 3 divided by 2 now what about the cos 30 Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. Okay. Cos 30 is what? Cos 30 is root 3 divided by 2. Tan 30 is what? 1 divided by root 3. Am I right? Now, what about the cos 60? Cos 60 value is what? Cos 60 is 1 by 2. Am I right? So, 
cos 60 is 1 by 2, tan 60 is root 3 by 2. Okay. So, cos 60 is 1 divided by 2, tan 60 is what? Root 3. Clear? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.